Hello YouTube, this is uh, Rye Guy or Jeering Soul, whichever one of those you know me by. And we are on the EVL City server today. Uh, it has been recently renovated and we made a few changes, like having a nice spawn house built by uh, Marley G. Peter. One big change about the city server is the ability for players to own their own city. If you get enough money together, you can purchase land and then subzone it out and sell it to any other player in the server. So if you and your bros or mates or whatever you call your friends want to have their your own city, you can go ahead and do that. <clears throat> You'll notice we have a city for sale for a million dollars starting off. Uh, any other cities that will be for sale will be up here. This is the city planning room. Here is spawn in there, in that long tunnel. And it's right off the side here. We also have a couple of commands that show you uh, the sort of things you can do with your cities and the requirements and, and whatnot. And it also tells you how to get the, the server to fund it for you in case you don't have the money. It is very rare for us to fund your city um, if we need a specific type of city, if we need extra farmland, if we need extra residential land, mining land, whatever, we may ask you to build a city for us and we will let you do what you want and it will be uh, paid for by by the admins, I guess you could say. Uh, one thing that you may be wondering is, is my stuff gone? If you had stuff, money, buildings, whatever, it's gone. Uh, I know that a lot of you spent a lot of time building and getting money. Yeah, it does suck, but uh, over the past few days we noticed, actually the past few weeks, we noticed the the server being not so busy. So we're hoping these changes will help get things to pick up again. Um, right over here we've got the farmer's market where farmers can sell their harvests this is the general store over here. We've got food and seeds over there, colored wool over there. To buy, you left click twice or right click once, and then you get your stuff. I got my golden apple. And again, that's right off to the left of spawn. Uh, the marina spreads out a long ways. The marina is how we get around in the server. There are no more mine trains. Uh, we do want to have a subway, sta uh, subway station in the near future. But for now, this is what we're going to do. Uh, and these do work. They, they, they don't physically move, but uh, they help you get around. Along the dock, we've got different ticket stands for you to buy tickets for the boats as well as 10 packs. You'll notice that the tickets are just pieces of leather and one thing that I want everyone to, to take from this video if they're going to take anything out of it is the way you stack your tickets. So I'm going to put two over there, two on my other hand, and six on this hand. Unfortunately, this plugin isn't very good with inventory yet. So if I step on this ship, I want to go to, let's see, where does this go? This goes to the Buckholes, a farming town with affordable plots. If I go on, it's going to take my ticket. But you notice, it took those six tickets there. And it may actually, sometimes it takes this too, if it's on your hand, if on one of your other hands. If you have them in your inventory area here, they are safe. Uh, so the boat's departing in 12 Minecraft minutes. You'll notice that these are Minecraft minutes and not actual minutes. That would be no fun. Alright, so now the boat has taken us to Buckholtz, a farming town. Uh, you'll have to load for a little bit. If you have a slow connection, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so we're over here. At Buckholtz, this is a uh, player-owned city. One of our beta testers who who we allowed to get in early. He's got his uh, ticket signs up here, so you can buy more tickets if you need to. You'll notice that 
these uh, these ticket signs in here in these cities they actually help pay for the city and they go to the mayor to help keep the bills paid they do not go to the server like most of the other ticket stands do and we're gonna buy a farm plot so we can do some farming this plot here costs 500 that's really cheap and if you want to buy this land over here uh, it's pretty cheap 500 bucks you know once you enter in the command that it shows up on the sign there the flags are switched over to your name you will be able to change things build and do all that stuff let's go over to the uh, the marina now we've got our uh, marina over here another ticket stand you'll notice you have the ability to buy just one for 25 or you can buy 10 for $100 Again, if you do that, split them up so that it doesn't take more than one of them. And it even says that on this sign over here. I'll show you an example of if you leave the boat. You've left the voxel port, therefore your ticket has expired. <coughs> Uh, before we would go over there though probably would be a good idea to stop over at the blacksmith and again there is spawn here is the road off to the left and there is the blacksmith inside of here we've got some public furnaces that you can use some of them have coal in them some of them don't clicked on one of the furnaces over here So again, we were at the blacksmith, uh, public furnaces and signs to buy diamond pickaxes, axes, and swords. And we've got a nice trash bin over here. Alright, so we've purchased our diamond pickaxe, well, now we want to go off to the mine. You'll see, purchase your tickets beforehand, there's a bunch of signs leading up this way telling you that this ship over here in the gold is the mine ship. So we're actually going to show off a, a cool feature that premium members get. Uh, we're still working out the bugs on this one, but basically instead of using tickets all the time and waiting for departures, you come up with a golden ingot and you are instantly teleported you don't lose your gold ingot, you keep it. It never expires or runs out. And it gets you to where you need to go instantly, without waiting. So this would be the city mine. Here is our, our uh, ticket booth over here. Off to the left we have one of our ore depositories. Well, I'll come back to that later, actually, once we get some something. We've got some signs over here. You can buy torches and things like that. But this is the mine. When you walk in, it'll say, Welcome to the mine. It is owned by Raigai222. I wish I could make it so that it was owned by the city, but it's not. So... I should have been prepared and bought some torches beforehand, but uh, <laughs> for now I will use my admin powers to show this off. And again, if I was premium, I would have my super pickaxe so I could get through blocks very quickly. And I'm not really finding any ores right now, but I am getting some cobblestone, and that does sell doesn't sell for much but it it's worth something so we're mining 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 and I've got a fair amount of cobblestone and we're gonna come out 
and head back over to the ore depository. The pricing for this depository and the other one are exactly the same. Uh, hello, zombie. Yeah, you're you're dead now. All right. So we'd come over here, right-click this sign until we get rid of all of it, and I got some more money now. Awesome. Uh, we also buy redstone, diamonds, gold, iron, and coal, and we as well as la lapis lazuli sacks. So that's how that works. I'm going to go back on the ship, use my nice golden ingot, whiz on back. Where I do want to go is show you the current current available city that is pre-built. And members just like you can uh, not far enough. Just like you guys can actually buy this. It does cost a million dollars. Uh, the dock is currently closed, but I think we'll be okay to sneak on in. Whoosh. And things are building. This is the current one. We've got a nice city hall building. We encourage you to have a city hall building in your city. Wow, this is huge. <laughs> uh, so that you can, you know, lay out your rules and, and things like that. There is no plots here whatsoever. This can be used for a farming city, residential, business, shops, or a mixture of all of that. Uh, this whole thing is one giant residence. And what you need to do is get a wooden axe. We're probably going to sell those in the city supply shop. And you'll see, yes, this is city one right here. And to start building, I'm going to select this point here and this point over here. I need to do slash res select vert. Then I need to do res subzone. And then I will do plot one. Now it says, welcome, right guy, to city one dot plot one. Again, we will allow you guys to choose the city names, uh, and an admin will be able to change those for you. It's best if you label your corners so you actually know if you're. Yeah, this would be one corner. This would be the other corner. And about there. And if you could build fences around it, that'd be great. Uh, I tell you what, using rural data to build fences is much easier. Fortunately, not even premium members are allowed to use world edit, as it would be a bit unbalancing. However, uh, we may have services for people to to pay admins some money to yeah, this one doesn't want to come back to to build things for them using their world edit powers. But a fence or or uh, even you know like. Eh, we must be lagging. A fence or, you know, anything around here, just to let the player know how to build, how to buy this, how big it is, how much it is. We're going to sell this plot here for about $1,000. So we're going to do slash res market sell city1.plot1, one one, and then we'll do price. The plot is now up for sale and if we did res market info city one dot plot one then we can see the plot name and the sell amount. So yeah we we just put this up for sale and and whenever people come out to this plot they can view it and purchase the plot and have their own 
uh, their own flag said and, and whatnot. You can advise people that they can only build residen residential homes, that sort of thing, businesses, or if they can use it for farming or whatever. So this is the city, the one city, cost a million dollars, but hey, I'll tell you what, if you fill this place up with plots, you could make quite a bit of money off of it. And uh, you get to set your own rules and run your own town the way you want to. We don't really have any specific rules for users to run their city. And we will allow you to customize the boat, though at the moment there is no residence around it, so there is no no means for you to edit it. And goodbye. Now yeah, we're lagging a little bit. There it goes. So I believe that's it. We're excited to get people in here and uh, combining money together so you can purchase cities. If you have any more questions, please feel free to comment. I'll try to reply. And uh, there should be administrators in here. To see the list of administrators, you can always type slash list. You see they have an admin tag in front of them. Admin drug outlet, admin right guy. Premium members are in gold, like Jay over there. And that's about it. Again, questions, throw them in the comments section, or email me, or private message, or whatever. Or ask in the server. Just don't be a noob about it. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.